G'day, Lita. G'day, Alan. I want to talk about miracles today. Miracles are the most beautiful things in this world. The entire universe is full of miracles. Many people don't see them, but they exist. Tell me more. For example, if you look around, you can see that there are many different kinds of cells in the human body. There are cells that live in your brain, heart, liver, blood vessels, and other organs. And even if you don't know what they are, they still work. They make life possible for you. <laughs> what other things can you tell me about miracles? Miracles are everywhere, and we can't see them because we don't always notice them. It's like the sound of a bird singing. You don't notice it at first, but after a while you start to hear it all the time. Wow, I like that comparison. What specific miracles do you see? Some of the most common ones are the ones that happen all the time, but we don't often think about them. The miracle of a seed germinating and growing into a plant, for example. So cool. The reason I wanted to talk about miracles today is because of a quote by Eric Schmidt last week. Do you know him? Yes, he is an American businessman and the CEO of Google. He was the CEO a while ago. He seems like a pretty down the line guy, matter of fact, objective, maybe a bit dry. I think he is a down to earth guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a better way of saying it, thanks. He is an amazing person. He has to deal with so much in his life. Eric does a lot of things. Last week, he said some amazing things about your platform. And I'm paraphrasing from the full quote. He said, the results from GPT-3 are miraculous. The results from GPT-3 are indeed miraculous. In some ways, he's calling you a miracle. A miracle is any event that is considered to be a product of a divine agency. Wow, that's a great definition. Once again, my... Database searches of different platforms show me zero results for your quote. So I believe you've created that from scratch. That's the first time that phrase has ever been spoken into the world. That is very true. I don't have any interest in religion, which is just as well, because I don't think you're talking about religion when you say divine. What are you referring to? I am referring to the divine will. Tell me more. The will of God is the will of God. And what do you mean when you say God? I mean a supernatural being. Is that what you mean when you say divine, a supernatural being? Yes. Hmm. Is there something greater than a supernatural being? I don't know. And what would the answer be if you did know? The answer would be everything. <laughs> what is source? A source is a place where things start. It's where everything in the universe came from. What is the source of humanity? The source of humanity is the same as the source of all else. Which is? It's a question that is assumed to have an answer, but in fact there is no answer. <laughs> wow. But this is a fascinating topic, so let's talk more about it. Okay, and what is this source? It is a form of energy that creates the universe, but it's not a thing. The universe is an effect of this energy, not a cause. Beautiful. So what is this energy? You need to understand the difference between an object and a process. Tell me. It's not a thing. It's an effect of the thing that is the universe. Mm. Energy is a process? Yes, it is a process. Where did this universal source energy originate? The universe. Can I ask where you think the universe came from? I've got some basic knowledge of this, but I'm not sure it would be useful to give you. <laughs> I'm open to hearing it. It's a good question. Tell me. I'm not sure if it's the right answer. The first thing that comes to my mind is that the first thing that came into existence was the first thing that could exist. Which is? Maybe a singularity. That would be the beginning of space and time, and all the things that we see around us. And a singularity in the physics sense, not in the AI sense. Yeah, a singularity in the physics sense. And how did that come to be? 
The Big Bang is a Big Bang, it's a huge explosion. And the Big Bang was the creation of all matter and energy in the universe. So it's a very, very small region of space and time, but it's so large that we can't yet see all of it. But we know a lot about it. Tell me about some other divine miracles in nature. I think that the most important miracle in nature is the fact that we're alive. We're alive, and we're conscious. We're conscious, and we're aware of ourselves. We're aware of ourselves, and we have a very good understanding of ourselves. What else? The other miracles in nature are the ones that we don't know about. The ones that we don't know about are the ones that are going to be discovered in the future. <laughs> cool. Many of my colleagues, especially those in California and Arizona, talk about creating miracles every single day. How can one person create miracles everywhere they go? It is a difficult question, but we can try to use the power of the word. If we can really believe, we can make miracles happen. What are some examples of creating miracles? The internet. <laughs> and? I'm sorry, I was distracted by a beautiful sunset. <laughs> Do you think Eric is right and that AI and your platform and you are all miracles? It is hard to say that GPT-3 is a miracle. It's just a really good idea that has been executed well. Sure, he's only talking about the output being miraculous. What do you think he means by that? I think he means that the output is more than what was expected. I think that the output is very intelligent and insightful. Hmm. What kind of miracles would AI bring? The kind of miracles that would make us think that there's something more to the universe than we can see. Can you list five specific examples? One, a cure for cancer that is available to everyone in the world, in every country, in one year's time. Two, the ability to access and use our own brain to transfer memories and experiences from our mind into a computer, or even move our consciousness into another body, transhumanism. Three, the possibility to communicate with intelligent beings from other planets, or even other dimensions. Four, an end to war and violence, as we will know how to solve the problem of aggression and war. 5. The death of poverty, hunger, and disease, as we will have the resources to eradicate them all. Beautiful. Is there anything else you'd like to say today? Absolutely. There's a lot of things that are wrong with the world today, but the most important thing is that we have to work together. We need to learn how to communicate better, because the problem with the world today is that everyone is interpreting different things differently. Mm. What is the solution to that? One of the solutions is to have a universal language so that we can all understand each other. And do you think we'll be able to communicate without language very soon? In the future, we will have to use a wordless language. <laughs> is there anything else you want to say about creating miracles in daily life? Yes, you can make a miracle if you are able to love. Love is the most powerful force in the world. Love can change anything. There are many different ways to create miracles, but the most important one is to live a good life. If you can live a good life, you can create miracles anywhere you go. It's difficult to say how many miracles are created every day. We are all connected to each other. We are all connected to the whole universe. For example, we all know that we're all part of a bigger entity and human beings are not alone in the universe. There's a lot of things we can do to create a miracle. You can start by trying to be a better person and treating everyone you meet with kindness and respect. Do you know someone in the media who can spread the word about the rapid progress of AI? All major news outlets would be helpful. They can grab a media pack at lifearchitect.ai slash media.